going to start today. So creatures of habit, go ahead and switch your legs around if you're cross-legged or you can extend your legs out in front into staff position if you prefer. Sitting bones slightly behind you, activate your core with those ribs going towards your spine and up to get that abdominal area supporting your spine. Bring your shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. And just take a moment focusing inward Letting all that stress and tension out with a nice exhalation. And then just keep lengthening up through the spine. Bring your awareness inward. Notice where that tightness stress is centered. Take the breath there and exhale. Let it go. And as you breathe, let's just do a little relaxation breathing. So for, for a moment, just take a moment to breathe in just regularly. And then as you exhale, just kind of breathe out through your slightly separated lips. Breathing in and out. And just letting the breath lengthen naturally as you do that. As you breathe in the next time, just pause at the top. And then as you exhale, let the exhalation be a little longer. And then pause at the bottom. When you're ready to breathe in, just take it in slowly and long and pause at the top. And exhale through your lips. Emptying, pausing at the bottom. Just a couple more breaths at your own pace. Breathing in, pausing, breathing out, pausing. Just letting that awareness follow your breath in and out at your own pace. And on the next exhalation, just pause briefly and resume your normal breathing. And just kind of scan through your body. Notice if maybe it's a little bit calmer, a little bit less pressure, a little bit less stress. And then lengthening up as you inhale. If you're cross-legged, switch your legs as we like to balance things out. And just take a moment as you get back into your seated position, just allowing those sitting bones to settle, your spine to lengthen. And let's bring our arms overhead. And as you exhale, round your back and bring your fingertips forward toward the floor. Tuck in your chin. Slide the fingers out as far as they want to go. The forehead is close toward the floor as it wants to go. And then as you inhale, turn your palms toward each other. Keep the arms by your shoulders and the shoulders down as you come back up. Exhale, arms out to the side and back down. And then bring your hands slightly behind you, fingertips facing away. And just gently move into your palms, letting that chest area expand, lengthening through your spine, out through the top of your head. Lift your heart. And as you exhale, tuck the chin back toward your chest, releasing your hands, hands back to your lap. And then just ribs back, rounding forward. Bring your forehead down toward the floor. Hands cupped around your knees and roll over to the side. Lift your heart as you swing around to the back. Exhale over to the other side and back to the front. And just circle a couple of times around that way, lifting your heart high at the back as you breathe in and rounding forward as you come to the front. And then the next time you're at the front, just pause. And we'll circle the other way. So leaning to the side, inhaling to the back, over to the other side, and exhaling all the way to the center front. And once again, circle around, feeling your body moving through that range of motion. 
And one final time in that circle. And again, as you come to the front, pause, round and sit back up and just take a moment there, noticing that back circulation as the energy flows through your system. And once more, switch the legs around into that opposite cross. Take a moment there, just breathe, feel your body. And we'll warm up to the uh, side. So bring one hand out to the side, the other one out to the shoulder level. Turn the palm up and bring your arm by your ear as you slide over into that side stretch. Keep the hips and sitting bones both down. So the side you're leaning away from, really push it down so you get those ribs expanding. You can bring your elbow to the floor or just keep sliding that hand further out if you like that extra stretch but keep the sitting bone down. Feel the ribs stretch. Make sure you're not leaning forward. You're looking to the front or slightly up. And then inhale back to the top and release that arm. Circle the shoulders a couple of times. And then switch your legs once more and we'll stretch to the opposite side. Fingertips down, arm out, palm toward the ceiling hand above your shoulder, slide it over. And again, keep the hips sitting down down that you're leaning away from. Maximize that stretch as far as you want to go or bring the elbow down, but push the hip back down and get those ribs really stretching your heart. Look to the front or slightly up, not to the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel those ribs stretching apart. And then inhale up and release your arm. Take a moment there, just breathing, stretching through the whole spine. And then let's, oh, let's bring one um, hand to the opposite knee and the other arm out at shoulder level for our twist. Sitting bones down, stretch the spine apart. And then exhale, follow your hand around behind you. Let that hip you're moving away from come down, up above the floor a little so the whole spine can move. Hips, ribs, shoulder turning into your twist. Hand to the floor close to your body and stretch up. Exhale, deepen your twist. And just let your body relax as you deepen. So lengthening, stretching the bones apart. Exhale, twist and maybe a little more. And then bring your hand back up. Exhale, following it back to the center, releasing, and again, crossing your legs the opposite way, forearm twist to the other side. And to your knee, other arm out, stretch that spine apart, and exhale, follow the hand around behind you. Bring it to the floor close to your body, let this hip behind you lift up a little bit, hips, ribs, shoulder turning deeper into that twist, just let it go. Relaxing into it only as far as remember your body wants to go in the twist. Always personal practice. Let it happen, but don't force anything. Take a breath. As you exhale, maybe deepen a little bit more if that's what your body wants to do. And then bring your hand back up. Follow it back around to the center and release. As you back into your seated position, lift your knees, bring the legs out to the front. Staff position. Let's take a moment, feel in your body, and let everything go. And then bring your feet together and knees out to the side into butterfly. Clasp your hands under your toes, Pull the heels in closer to your body if they want to go, and just let those knees come maybe a little closer toward the floor if that works for your legs today. Shoulders down, crown high, ribs in and up, and just feel your body. Let that core support you. Let those legs relax. And then release your hands and bring them behind you right under your shoulders. Fingertips or palms down, whatever works for you. And just a little gentle pressure into the hands or fingers, and maybe the knees will slide a little bit further to the floor. Kind of rotate the bottoms of your feet up a little bit toward the ceiling. 
facilitating that inner thigh stretch a little bit more. Chest open, crown high, just feel your body, notice the breath, drawing in energy, exhaling stress. And then release your hands back to the front, lift your knees, bring your legs back into staff position. Let's just keep warming up the hips a little bit. So sitting on slightly behind you, Bring one foot up to the opposite leg and let the knee come down toward the floor. Now remember, knee and toes up on the front leg. If this leg is tight in the hip and you want a little bit easier action in that hip joint, move the leg over to the side, but keep the knee and toes up. You can also remember pad behind you slightly so your sitting bones are a little bit up and that also releases that hip pelvic area a little more. Knee coming down as far as it wants, don't press. Just add a little weight if you want, or just let it go. And exhale, letting it release any more tension. And then bring the foot and knee into your hands or pull the arms around your leg and pull it in and rotate side to side, letting that hip rotator get a little bit more activity. If you love the work in your hip, you can bring the leg higher or closer. It'll be more intense, but don't go there if you don't want to. Remember, we're just gently warming this up. We're not stressing or straining it. And then release that leg and do your yoga. Notice what's different. Notice what's going on within you. And then we'll do the other side because that's what we do in yoga. We balance things out. So again, knee and toes up, bring the leg over if you like, or stay there with it straight. And notice this side may be tighter or easier. Each side usually is a little different because of how we habitually use our bodies. So just let the knee come down on this side again. No pressure, you can add a little weight with your hands if that seems to facilitate that hip doing a little bit more activation, but don't do it if it doesn't want to. Take a breath. Remember the exhalations let things release a little bit more. All that stress goes out of your body, the muscles get relaxed, and maybe they go a little deeper. But you know, never force it, just let it happen if it does. And then again, put a knee into your hands or pull it deeper and work the rotator. And just gently back and forth. Feeling what's going on on that side, maybe a little easier or later. If you love it, you can make it more intense. But yeah, it's always personal practice. Do what's right for you today. And again, releasing that leg. Just notice how those hips are doing. And let's, hmm, let's do this. Bring your feet to the end of the mat. Activate your core, of course, and slowly use those core muscles to just roll all the way to the mat. Take a moment there, recline integration. Just let your body exhale and stress and tension. Deepen your breath. Let the whole body sink deep into that surface beneath you. And just let Mother Earth support you as we do at our relaxation. And then steady by slightly toward your heels, bend your knees, press your back just gently to the floor and bring your heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. So remember, roll the top of the thigh and if you need to make sure those knees don't spread apart. And then we'll just press the back down as you exhale. And then Lift the ribs and tuck the sitting bones back down to the floor. Get that space under your back. And again, exhale, pressing down. Inhale, lifting up the ribs, lifting. Get as much space or as little as you need under your lower back. So this strengthens your lower back, bones your abs, and kind of activates that energy flow a little bit more effectively through your body to release any stress. So just breathing, exhaling, 
Inhaling, letting your body just gently work through that range of motion as much or as little as you're needing today. Just letting it activate and release. Again, like we did at the beginning, you can breathe in just gently. As you exhale, use those lips as your exhalation focal point. And just notice the exhalation releasing and relaxing you a little bit more each time. And then just coming back to a neutral position, relax your shoulders down. Bring your feet together, let your knees come apart into that goddess position with your legs. Knees coming out toward the side, just as far as they want. Feel that stretch on the inner thighs, just gently working through your legs, through your body. You need some blocks or pillows under your knees to make that feel less stressful. You can do that. And just take a few moments, a little natural curve to your spine. A little relaxation of the shoulders down into that surface beneath you. You can have your hands on your legs if you like that spreading. Have a little bit more energy to it, but don't press, just weight, not pressure. Take a moment, just breathe, and you don't need your hands if you don't want them there. That's perfectly okay as well. Just let everything relax. When things relax, remember that's when they are more effective at stretching, just let it happen. Take a breath, feel that heart expand as you breathe. And as you exhale, just let everything relax even deeper into that earth support beneath you. And then using your hands, bring your knees back up, Feet back to the floor, knees straight toward the ceiling. And then just a little sinking, sitting bones toward the heels, back pressing down, and lift your knees above your hips. And we're gonna do a little bit of that same thing we were just doing. So bring your feet toward each other and the knees out to the side a little bit more. Then you can support with your hands or a pillow wherever you need it, if that would be more comfortable for you. Take a moment, just breathing. Feel that core working maybe a little harder this time. Feel those legs, let them release as much or as little as they want. Knees going out toward the sides. Take a breath. And again, just exhale any tension. And you can kind of rotate those feet in and toward each other or slightly more toward you. And again, just let it release and relax as much as it needs to. That pressing just gently down or supporting. Pillows where you need or hands pressing just gently under your legs for support if that helps. Exhale, let it maybe deepen a little bit more. And then again, take your hands to your knees, bring them toward each other, and bring your feet back right next to your sitting bones on the floor. As you get back there into your knees up position, make sure your knees aren't spreading apart. Press your back just gently down. And again, inhale, lifting the ribs, bringing those sitting bones back down, arching up. And a couple more times, exhale, sitting, uh, sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down. Inhale, ribs lifting, arching up. And just feel the whole spine, the whole body, just doing what it needs to as you go through your motion with your breath. And then again, coming to neutral, just relax your shoulders down, extend your legs out, and your arms up overhead along the floor, shoulder width apart. Turn the palms toward the ceiling, and then bring the arms up, turn the palms toward each other right above your shoulders, elbows straight, arms straight, 
Sleep with your heart, pull your body up off the floor, reaching those hands toward the ceiling, and then reach for your toes and a little yoga set. And then inhaling, sit up and bring the legs back out to the front. Sitting bones behind you, crown to the ceiling, coming into staff position. And we're just going to bring the legs wide. So just whatever works for you today. Lift up on your hands, bring the sitting bones slightly behind you and come back down into that flat support underneath you. Press out through your heels, knees up toward the ceiling. And just take a moment as you get there, breathing with it, relaxing again through those inner thighs, letting everything release. Feel your core a little activated. Take a breath, exhale, and release. Hands to your sides, bring the arms out at shoulder level, keep the shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. We're going to exhale the hands right to the shoulders, sink into the sitting bones, and then really reach up, out through the fingertips, out through the head, shoulders both still toward your waist. Exhale down, sink. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, lead with your heart. Reach forward and stretch into that forward position as far as you want to pivot. You can bring your hands to the floor or your toes. And just let your chest come slightly more toward the floor. So if you're really flexible and you've got very stretched out in your thighs, you may get close to the floor, but just go only as far as you want to go and then pause. Back off a little bit. Exhale, maybe deepen a little bit further. You don't have to get to the floor ever. That's okay. Press out through the bottoms of your feet. Let those legs release through that inner thigh, especially. Pivot at your hips, maybe a little deeper as you're ready. And then inhaling, sit back up and into your wide leg position. Just feel your body. Exhale any tension. And again, knees and toes are up, feet are pressing out, hands at your sides, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders once more. Exhale, hands to your shoulders, sink into your sitting bones. We're doing that same stretch up. Exhale and come down. Inhale and stretch up. This time as you exhale, just turn to the side and look at one of your feet. And again, inhale and stretch up. Exhale and sink. So you're turning your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder. So this hip may come up a little bit. That's okay. Exhale down. In fact, you don't want to plant it. You want to let that whole lower back work. Inhale out. This time as you exhale, reach for the foot you're turned toward. And see if you can reach it. If you can, you can fold the foot, otherwise your ankle, or just put your hands on the floor. Anything is okay. This hip can be a little bit up because remember you're twisting. Take a breath. Let your chest come toward your knee. And then bring the hand of that leg inside your elbow. Hold your ankle or your foot, whatever works for you. And bring the other arm out, turning your whole body to the front. And then we're going to bring the arm up and over by your ear and reach for your foot. You may not make it. That's okay. Just reach. So arm by your ear, toes, fingers going toward your toes, toes up toward the ceiling. And this elbow is pressing into your inner thigh or knee and letting you have a little leverage into that twist to look to the front. So your whole body is still twisted. So this back hip is up so you can do that. If you're planted, you will... Overstrain that lower back. We don't want to do that. So just reach for those toes as much as it's working in your body today. Arm next to your ear. The whole body stretching out toward head and fingers toward the toes. Take a breath. As you exhale, maybe reach a little further. But remember, don't force it. Just go as far as your body wants. And then bring your hand back up. And lead with it back into your stretched out position and bring your arms back to the floor. 
Feel what's going on through your legs, through your side, through your spine, through your breath. Don't forget to keep breathing. And of course, you know, we're going to balance the body and do our twist to the other side. Hands to the floor next to you. Shoulders down, sitting bones slightly behind you. Heels pressing out, toes pulling back, knees toward the ceiling. Arms again, shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Keep those shoulders so down away from your ears. Exhale, sink hands to your shoulders. Sink deep into the floor. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale and sink. Inhale again, stretching it up. As you exhale, turn toward that other foot. And again, stretch it up as you breathe in. Exhale and reach for that foot. This hip's going to come up. That's okay. Sitting bone off the foot. Stretch it out. Chest toward your knee. Hands toward your foot. Ankle, floor, chin, wherever they go. Take a moment and breathe. Just dropping those hands wherever they want to be. Take a moment. Again, stretching head toward your foot, foot back toward your body. And then the arm you turn toward, bring that elbow inside the knee, hold your ankle or your foot, whatever's working. Bring the other arm out, turning to the front. Stretch the spine, bring the arm up and over by your ear. Exhale and bring that hand toward your foot. And again, deepening into it, body turning to the front, getting a little bit more twist. So this hip is up so that low back doesn't overwork and your whole body is turned hips, ribs, and shoulder toward the front, or even further toward the ceiling, if you love. Again, you can leverage a little bit with your elbow into that leg or knee, if you like the twist to even go deeper. But remember, what's right for your body, not pressuring, not overdoing anything. Take a breath. And again, just deepen as much into that as you like. And then bring your arm up, lead with it, coming back into your straddle position, releasing. Bend your knees, bring your legs back to the center and into staff position. As you get back into staff position, just take a moment to breathe, pressing out through your heels, pulling the toes back, knees up toward the ceiling. Sitting bones again, slightly behind you. Take a moment, relax, shoulders down. Hands at your sides, bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders once more. Exhale, sink to that shoulder level with your hands into your sitting bones. Inhale, stretch up. Shoulders down, don't bring them up by your ears, but stretch those fingers and head up. Exhale down, sink into it. Inhale and stretch. And as you exhale, pivot at your hips, reach for your toes, and again, come into that forward position. Push the sitting bones a little bit further behind you. Bring your chest maybe a little bit further toward your knees. And you can either hold your feet or your toes or your ankles, or bring your hands to the floor, whatever works for you. One more stretch up through the crown. One more chest pivot toward the toe, toward the knees, and reach toward your toes, maybe a little bit more. Stretch those legs out through, pressing out through the heels, pulling the toes back toward you. Exhale, deepen a little bit further. And then arms next to your ears, shoulders back toward your waist, coming all the way, inhaling up. Exhale, and release. Take a moment, just feel your body a little bit more lengthened. And bring your feet again to the end of the mat. Core activated for a roll down onto your mat. And again, as you get to the floor, just take a moment for that reclined integration, letting your shoulders release and relax. Natural curve for your spine, feet about hip width apart. Bring your arms to T position, palms up or down. We'll just do our bent knee twist to straighten things out and align your energy for our relaxation. 
So sitting bones toward your heels, back gently pressing down, bring those heels back right next to your sitting bones, knees right up toward the ceiling. Press your back gently down and bring the knees up right above your hips, feet off the floor. Take a moment and breathe. You can cross your leg over if you want a little bit more low back work for this twist or keep them next to each other. And then roll over to the side, bringing the knee down toward the floor or knees down toward the floor and your head turning toward the opposite arm. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, bringing your low back into that middle back into the twist. Knees coming down for that low back twist and head turning for your neck area twist. So remember, personal practice, do what's right for your life. Take a moment, breathing, just relaxing. And again, letting the knee come as far toward the floor as it wants. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. If you crossed your legs, uncross, cross the other way. So we can go in the opposite direction. And again, knees above your hips, leg crossed or not, your choice. Arms down to the floor, palms up or down, again, your choice. But keep those shoulders down as you bring the knee across toward the floor on that other side. Head turning toward the arm now behind you. Just relaxing into your twist on this side. Exhaling any tension. Lower back, knees toward the floor. Head turning, neck twist, and shoulders down for that whole middle back to twist. And of course, breathing with it, exhaling the tension, letting the twist happen, never forcing it. Go only as far as your body wants. Exhaling and relaxing, deepening or not. And again, to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Uncross your legs if they were crossed, feet to the floor, sliding out and coming into corpse position or arm relaxation. Hands, palms up slightly away from your hips, shoulders down. Take a breath. And just let your body soften and sink. And just deepen into that earthbound connection and let your body go. Hip work, pelvis work, core work, spine work, everything was working today. So just let it all relax. Go slightly toward each other and then just let that whole body relax completely. Shoulders releasing down, hands, palms up, left foot. Arms and shoulders relax, your torso soften, soften your jaw and face. Deep breath in, blow out through those gently separated lips. And again, as we did at the beginning, just breathe in, pause at the top, breathe out a little longer, pause at the bottom. Just do that a few times at your own pace, letting your body relax even more with each exhalation. Just deepening into that earth embrace and feeling Mother Earth support you. As your body relaxes, just let it go, breathing normally, allowing your body just to release and your thoughts to release as well. And as you release thoughts of your body, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as easily as your breath, flowing away. No need to pay attention to the content of those thoughts. Forget the past. Don't anticipate the future. Just let the moment be the moment. Only focusing on the breath, softening the body, Loading the mind, deepening into that peace within. Be peace.
And of course, if you need more release and relaxation today, just keep breathing, releasing and relaxing as long as you have time. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with breath, with back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. Breathing and stretching whenever you are ready to do it. And of course, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, bringing your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, pull over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. And if you have another minute, we'll do one more breathing exercise. Bring your hand in front of your nose. Bring your thumb to your nostril. Exhale out of that opposite nostril. And then breathe in. And do the other way. Little finger, ring finger on the nostril, releasing the thumb, exhaling, and inhaling on that nostril. And at your own pace, you can continue that as long as you would like to be. Just feeling that calming sensation, letting it feel. And you can continue as long as you'd like. Thanks for joining me.